This lesson covers some more in-depth IP address management using IPAM. And the first thing I'm going to actually look at in this is an external script. So this is available on the Microsoft Gallery. You're going to download this IPAM integration with DHCP. So what this will actually do is pull in the DHCP actual leases into our IPAM database. Now I'm actually just going to run this manually. So the first thing we do is we run the script. She's now going to enable this new commandlet. So I can now say invoke IPAM DHCP lease. My IPAM server name is this server. And then I'm going to pull it from one of my DHCP servers. So this is going to go and communicate with that DHCP server, pull in the information about the scopes, and then actually pull in the information. So it failed on IPv6, which is fine. I don't have any configured. So if I now go back to my database, and I refresh, we can now see suddenly I have all this information about my leases as well. Now I only ran this as a one-off, so this is gonna get stale very quickly. So one of the things you could actually do is create a scheduled task to do this for me. And this is actually built into the command. So if I add to the command, I just typed in the periodic. What it's now doing is creating a scheduled task that's gonna go and trigger this for me. So I'm not necessarily advising you use this credential, but just in this example, it's now gone ahead and created a scheduled task. If I fire up the task scheduler, I can now see it's there. So effectively at the same time every day, it's gonna go and trigger this. So it's gonna be updated every 24 hours. Now I could change that. I could change this trigger to whatever I want that best meets my requirements. That's one way now to get that updated information and that's now populating in my IP addresses. So I have my blocks, my ranges, and now I'm actually getting IP address information. I can actually go ahead and create reservations. So I'm looking at my IP address ranges. I'm gonna select this scope, and I'm gonna say find and allocate available IP address ranges. And this is now doing a check. It's looking at that range, and it's gonna find me the first available address. So right now it's trying to ping this address, which is the first address in that range. No one's replying to a ping. There's going to be no DNS record. So it's going to say, this is the address I can use. I could say, well, find me the next one. So now it's going to say, okay, I'll try 51. But I'll go back and I'll say the 50. I could give it the MAC address I want to use. I'll just make something up. It's managed by DHCP. My device type could be a host. It could be a terminal server, a non-Microsoft server, whatever I want. So I'll say a non-Microsoft server. For my DHCP reservation, for my server name, I'm gonna say the server I'm gonna reserve it from, and then actually give it a name. So I'll say non-MS1. What is my reservation type? So I'll say this is for DHCP, or I could just say both. I could give it a description. And then under DNS record, I could give it additional information. So again, type in my name, non-MS1, do I wanna put it into the zones? I can actually go and create complete reservations based on IP addresses it's finding that are available. So a very, very powerful feature here to help me manage all of this. So I discovered information from DHCP, I could find it. Now I can go ahead and actually create leases and reservations directly within the tool. So it's not just about gathering information from the servers, I can actually use it to go and actually do full configurations. So you can see the data I can type in, no MS1, so I'll actually make that consistent, no MS1. So this is gonna go and communicate with that DHCP server, and I now see that address reservation available within my IPAM. So you really wanna make sure you do now. I'm showing this, this wasn't an IPAM created scope, so this isn't gonna actually function as I would expect. So you wanna do all your management through IPAM, and it will then ensure you're getting that consistent management experience, and any changes you make will actually get reflected in those source servers. Now I have that reservation. I can go ahead and say create that DHCP reservation. It's now gonna go and talk to the DHCP server. For that to work, you need to make sure within the DHCP reservation area, you selected the server and which scope it's reserving in. And now if I jump to my DHCP server itself and refresh, I now see that reservation has took effect. out this data. So anything available in IPAM, I can actually go ahead and export out to a comma separated value file, a CSV, so I can then use it maybe in spreadsheets and in other applications to monitor my IP address space utilization.